because the thing that I thought was crippling people's attitude towards dance was rules. You know, you have to do this, you have to swing like that, you have to get it right. And it doesn't have anything to do with getting it right. Um, so I wanted to scrape all that burden off of it. So I never tried to say, you had to do it like this. If they did it some other way, well then the easy way is the right way and I ought to be calling it like that. If that makes more sense to them, <laughs> do that. There's no better sign. If somebody always makes a certain mistake in a dance, then that really ought to be it, you know? <laughs> They're doing something that if it occurs to everybody, it ought to be occurring to us as callers too. In order to get people to actually dance and use centrifugal force, they had to stop worrying about getting this right, getting that right, what they look like, and so on. You know, like, whoa, get around, whoa, that was fun, whoa, this is fun, this handful's fun, this is fun. Um, so that it became that um, original experience of, of partnering and, and letting the music propel you around rather than trying to be in the right place at the right time as the instructor <laughs> told you to do. So I wasn't, I, I didn't try to like say this dance came from so and so and uh, it's always done this way and don't do it with that kind of music or whatever. Because I, there's no, they were, no way they were going to learn to own it then. Mm -hmm. It would be a, like a, a Civil War replica battle or something. 